on 44th Street at Schubert Theater to see To Kill a Mockingbird, a play actually written by Aaron Sorkin. And you know, I read this book when I was in high school. It won a Pulitzer. It's by Harper Lee. It's one of those classic books that like pretty much every kid has to read. It, it's because the story and it's it's hits so many elements of our history, of our country, and it's just, it's something that everybody needs to hear and especially now. Definitely. Um, so I thought it was interesting to see this um, become a play. Um, I didn't know much about it in terms of it being a play. I figured it maybe it already had been. I'm a huge fan of Aaron Sorkin's writing both in like the West Wing and in Newsroom and so I'm excited to see how he takes like this classic book that we all know and makes it different and makes it more modern or I don't you know I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna do with it but I trust him. Definitely. I really like his writing. It's really smart. And also, if you've seen the newsroom and some other work, uh, Jeff Daniels has got to be in his work before, so. And I'm really excited for the cast. It, you know, obviously Jeff Daniels, he's a big powerhouse, but there's a few Broadway performers in this cast that we both love. Like, I love Cel Celia Keenan-Bolger. Say that name four times fast. Right? Saw her in Spelling Bee and I loved her. She's been in several different shows. And then also, one of our favorites, Stark Sands. He was yep. in Kinky Boots. All of the Kinky Boots. He was wonderful, so I'm excited to see him. He is playing opposite Jeff Daniels as the other lawyer, so interesting to see how this goes. Yeah. We're here at the Schubert Theater and we're gonna head in and go see the show. All right, so we're talking to Kill a Mockingbird uh, just outside of the Schubert Theater here in New York City. And we're just gonna jump right in and kind of talk about this show. First of all, it was just so much fun to check it out and revisit um, a book that we read in high school and to kind of see this come to life on the stage. And I'm not gonna ever get over getting to see Jeff Daniels in this role. So I'm just gonna <laughs> kick things off with my uh, first really good or like of the show is Jeff Daniels was just wonderful to see. Um, if you're anything like me, you are maybe a little bit unaccustomed to seeing him in a serious role. Um, it was strange originally when I saw the newsroom to see him in a serious role instead of Dumb and Dumber, you know, and I'm sure he gets that all the time and probably hates when people say that, but shoot, that's just what you think of him. So it was wonderful to see him in a, a really serious role in this play and he was just wonderful. He just the way that he phrases things, he's just in it. Like he's just one of those actors that you can tell just becomes the person that they're playing just through and through. There's not even a glimmer of who he was when he's done and when he's playing this character. So I had so much fun seeing him in this role and seeing him in a serious role and just bringing this play to life. He was so powerful. And you know, for me, my, my first thing that I love, the other person that really, she's kind of the main person on the stage, other yeah. than what you think the show, Atticus Finch, is Scout. Scout is played by Celia Keenan-Bolger. She had so much kind of power in the, in the way that she portrayed Scout, but it's funny because, you know, it's a little girl, but she was nominated for a Tony, deserved every, every bit of it. Every bit of it, times two maybe. <laughs> yeah, like the way she told the story, you just identify with her and the way that she just portrayed every little element. I just, I loved her. We got to talk to her after the show and I couldn't say enough good things about her. She was wonderful. So that brings me to my number two good. I really loved the storytelling mechanism. One of the main ways that they told the story and progressed the story was the use of the children um, with Scout and Jem and their friend. Um, they were able to tell the story through them. So in all of the scenes, no matter what was going on, one of the children was close by or right there in the scene and things would happen and, and then they would narrate you through. And, and I just really liked that. There's this really elementary, like awesome vibe that you get from hearing the story and the perspective of the kids. And they're just so curious and fun to listen to. And they're just trying to figure out like, some of the weird things that happen when you're an adult and some of the weird things that adults say. And uh, it's just so fun to see their curiosity and their interest. And that curiosity and interest was used to tell this story and I love that. It was so, so smart. So, the other good thing that I loved about this show, you know, a lot of people like to tease me because I've been born and raised a musical person and usually when I come to New York, I don't make time to see plays. And I'm so glad we did on this show. And I think it's a, from a combination of a several different things. Aaron Sorkin's writing, which I was really excited for. Yep. The subject matter, which is, not, even without like the actual writing that Harper Lee did, just like the very fact that it's the, about the racism and things like that, that coupled with this amazing book, and it just, it moves so well. I didn't need a dance break. I didn't need a song to keep me entertained. I was so enthralled from the beginning to the end of this show. And I can't, I, you know, I recommend it for everybody. Absolutely, which kind of brings me to my opportunity in this one. I mean, outside of needing to tell the people that we sat by to not bring a bag of yeah. chips and eat their chips extremely loud in the middle of a theater, especially a show like this that's so reliant on the dialogue. 
Outside of that opportunity, which has nothing to do with the show, the opportunity here is to see this show. Um, they just announced that it's actually going to go on a nationwide tour, which is just wonderful to see. But if you have a chance, make it out to the Schubert Theater and definitely check this one out. You know, I am just shocked, and to me this is my opportunity for the show. I cannot believe that the Tony voters didn't nominate this show for Best Play. It, it, I, it's just one of those shows that yep. kind of sticks to your heart and doesn't go away. And Definitely. you know, maybe it's because they don't need the they don't need the votes to get people in the audience. This show is just selling out, and so if you could get a ticket, come on down and see it. Definitely, and there's some wonderful plays this season for sure. And this is something we're just kind of giving into, but this for sure, absolutely 100% deserved one of the Tony noms for best play. We had a lot of fun seeing To Kill a Mockingbird again. We don't see very many plays, but we're definitely branching out and seeing some more and more. So. Really excited that we got a chance to see this and see Jeff Daniels in this role. We're going to head over to Hadestown next and see what this is all about. 14 Tony nominations this year and just everybody's raving about it. A lot of good about it, a lot of bad about it. We're going to go check it out and see what we think. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Check us out for more videos to come.